Survey says Yemen. All right, the map is Europe, and we're spawning down here in the bottom left. Hello, that's us. Greetings and hello. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we have a nice little match. Also, as you can tell, I'm going to try some editing in this video. For those of you who didn't see the community post, this guy's won second place. <laughs> sure, buddy. We'll see if we can make that happen. We're going to try some editing in this video, see how you like it. And uh, don't worry if those of you who don't like it, we'll continue to do the videos with no editing. We'll do a bit of both. Honestly, this is a really good spawn point. It's basically myself in second place down here, and I can kind of just get this entire bottom corner for myself. I see this guy racing down here, which is not amazing for me, but they kind of stop for a second there, but I do see them really working their way down here. I want to stop them. This shall be my side. There we go. Oops. Don't want you guys getting up here in my turf. These are my bots. Maybe I can get these guys to fight each other and leave me alone. Hello, bot Irene. How did I not notice you there? Honestly, we're second on the board, although Wagon over there is doing really well. Maybe we tell people to attack Wagon and they'll slow them down a bit, perhaps if we're lucky. I think this is a good time to sit back and build up troops because we're only a third at, as far as how many troops we can actually carry. I can, have, I can have up to three million here, which would be a lot better. These guys are just kind of chilling too, so saving might be the good call. Looks like second place and freedom are both ganging up on Dune Worm. So this is my chance to kind of uh, attack second place while they're a little bit low on troops. And maybe freedom will get in on this if we're lucky. Looks like somebody's boating down here as well. Kingdom's getting a little piece of the action, I see. All right, that'll help save some of my troops from fighting because I'm going to be a little bit low on troops. They're threatening the full send. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I was kind of hoping to give you second place, but I, I I need to get bigger here. We're falling way behind. Look at this giant. Somebody stop them. They're so low on troops. Get them. Get them. You have more troops than them. Don't let them get away with that. If they let them get away with that. Also, how did this guy send me a... Oh, I see. Sure. As long as you don't spam attack, that's fine. They're going to spam attack that guy. <laughs> If people don't start attacking this guy soon, we all lose. They're this that's insane that they got that lucky to start and nobody's even fighting them. I guess I fight Kingdom now because uh they're a weaker target than Freedom and I gotta fight somebody. I'm at red interest. Maybe I get the 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 Russian Empire over here. Do they meant to say Prussian or are they meant to do two R's? Maybe I can get this person up there to help us. Fighting Kingdom here would be useful. Who's boating over? Oh, Freedom's boating over. Okay, we can work that. I don't know if we're gonna be able to stop this guy. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty tough. Just keep taking them out little by little. Freedom's trying to bolt their way over to get in on it, which is both good and bad. Looks like they left and became a bot, which will make things easier because they'll attack a little bit more often. And we can kind of get in on that a little bit more, which will be useful for us. Surprised this guy's not boating over. They should be boating right now to get in on this. They could just be kind of carving away on that. But we'll go ahead and just, I guess they're not going to get in on it. Oh, they're low on troops. Somebody's fighting them. So, wait, another person saying second place, please. What? What's what? What's that already begging for second place? Hey, this guy. Why is Freedom so low on troops? I, I guess they're, oh, they're going to war with second place, please, over here which is great because that means they're low on troops and I can attack them. Hopefully somebody's deciding to slow this guy down because I don't know how we could possibly beat this giant over there. That's insane. But for now, we just keep working on freedom. They're pretty low on troops and we're just going to kind of quickly and aggressively. I should probably put some boats up into their other stuff for the future, right? Because they're getting weakened for these other guys to get big off them as well. And I want to get in on all of this if I can. I mean, I'm just going to send these little... Why am I sending like a million on a boat? I don't need to send that many. Yikes. Careful with those troops there, my mans. Get up here as well. Get into Italy. And uh, just get these islands, because why not? I'm catching up in size with uh, Drew Wagon here a little bit. I'm going to start fighting this guy, because I need these guys to fight this guy up here. While I work on the guys behind them, so the guys behind them don't, like, cause problems. Once I get this little bit of lane up here, I'm going to send a boat up yonder to maybe get some of this as I'm pushing these guys out. If I get big and, you know, maybe we can make it happen where we can uh, work together against this Drew Wagon guy. I think this Paul Allen's card is working with, uh, together with them. All right, this guy's working down there. That's fine. My boats are getting in on where this guy's Unis. Honest? I don't know who this guy is over there. Take out this guy next, Paul Allen's card. Truce with this guy. And maybe they'll work against that giant for now. Oh, this guy's slamming through this guy. I didn't even realize that that's a problem. Hmm. I'm worried that they go for me next. I'm also worried these guys won't have the courage to fight them. It would probably benefit me to take out this guy here before we fight them. This is going to be a tough fight. I'm not sure we can beat this. But having this guy's land will help us to win this. Drew Wagon's attack. Yes, that's a bit of a problem. Um, I think I'd defend up for now and just ask these guys to attack them. Although I haven't seen them do it yet. I'll keep working on this person just to get them out of here. See, both these players are sitting at max cap troops, not attacking Drew Wagon. So unless, see, this is why this guy got so big is because nobody around them was brave enough to attack them. Yeah, they just keep attacking me and literally none of these guys are attacking them. This guy is. 
But uh, without these guys attacking them, we just lose here, unfortunately. All right, next country, Cyprus it is. All right, we're in USA 48 this time, and we are over here. I, it occurs to me I should have changed the color that I have. Oh, well, I guess we're going to be this pinkish purplish again. But our spawn point is actually really good. We got like the entire western uh, coast here all to ourselves. California, you shall be mine. Yeah, this is just a really good spawn point where if we go aggressively enough on the bots, we're going to get tons of land here. It's going to be great for us. All right, we're cleaning up the last of the bots here, and we had just a fantastic spawn point. Just tons of free land, and people are fighting around us, not fighting me. That's great. So we'll sit back. I see self esteems Empire here is attacking this Drew Uzi Tara person a lot. Oh, this guy left and became a bot, which is unfortunate because I'm not in a good position to get much of that land. I think for now, it's kind of save and build up. These guys are fighting so hard. I'm going to have a great opportunity. To oh, and here as well, everybody around me is just going ham on each other. I can just sit back and Kind of like wait for the right moment to kind of swoop in at the last second and just clean up Drew PP Empire over here. These guys are cleaning up that bot. I won't get much of that, unfortunately, but I can also then uh, go in down here on Self Esteem's Empire. And then maybe as these guys clean up uh, Drew Azitara, I can kind of get in on that as well. Because I'm sure these guys are going to want to go in on it. Noodle Chuggin Union, that's a fun name. Hmm, I've got a nice lead here. My troops are looking healthy. I think I work on uh, Drew Azitara before they completely build up because I saw nobody else really going in doing the work. So I figured I would just go ahead and uh, lead the way on that before they get a chance to sit back and build up a ton of troops, trying to like accelerate my route to the throne. Why have you not taken all your land here? Drew PP Empire's attack. Yes, you're one of these silly boys, huh? Well, I know how to deal with that. It's just force you out of the match. See you later, skater. I think right now I save up troops because this noodle chug and unions got almost as many troops as I do, and I'm worried they want they might want to gang up on me. They might be doing secret emotes of telling who to attack who, like I am right now. All right, we've hit red interest. It's time to fight. Player 106 is actually really low on troops because they boated across through here to fight this person over there, and that's left them actually fairly low on troops compared to most people around them. So I think that's a great time to go kind of start a fight with them. Keep an eye on those around us, how many troops they have. They're fighting us back a little bit, that's fine. I'll kind of sit back and save up some troops. Matthias wants to do a little truce over there. Keep working on player 106. Kosovo's not really getting in on it, which might be to their, ooh, they're attacking your mother up there while I'm distracted. I could keep an eye on that. But I think for now we keep, there we go. Now they're going in on 106, helps us out, save some troops there, and gives us a lot of that land really quickly, really accelerates ourselves. Be ready to go in on your mother up there. Probably time is now before Noodle Chug and Union takes it all from us, right? Gobble that up, beautiful. Now we're looking really strong. Can I boat across here to get even more of this? We have basically the same color. Oh, you're one of these island hopping individuals. I will not be spam attacked by you. Thank you. All right, that's great. Now we're looking really strong here. Last match, I was, I was complaining how people wouldn't gang up on the crown. Well, this match, I'm reaping the benefits of it, so I'm pretty okay with that. Our logical choice here, now that we're, we were sitting at red interest for a second, is Oblivion Salt L. How did, I don't know what maybe the rest of that word got cut off because... Right now, there's three people touching me. If I take them out, I'm still only touching, well, I guess in that case, it'll be two people, which is useful because the less people touching me, the less people there are that can gang up on me, which is really good for us. Looks like Kosovo is attacking father figure over here and uh, bot of HG is getting in on that. I think right now, uh, we just go ahead and take out Kosovo because there's, yeah, look, at once we get 160,000 pixels, we move really fast in our troops. I think we work on Matthias because they're very low on troops. Bot is immediately attacking us. So we're going to want to go in on them as well, for sure. We keep carving through Matthias here because, well, they're just super low on troops, so it's pretty easy for us to do it. We keep, oh, it looks like Noodle Chug and Union start starting to gang up on us as well. This person has left to become a bot. We'll kind of swoop up through Matthias here, just carve them up like they're just absolutely nothing. That's basically what they are compared to us right now. And then we'll work on Bot HG over here. This guy's surrendering. I could vote for peace with you, but I do recall you attacking me. So that you, 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 there's no vote for peace. You, you could have, that one attack ruined your chance of getting a vote for peace. That's so unfortunate for you, but a beautiful little victory screen for us. But hey, can we get two wins in a row is a real question. Also, we're flexing. Survey says East Timur, Timur. I don't know how to say that. Hey, I'm learning geography and stuff. All right, we're back in Europe and we're this yellow dot right here. Hello, that's us. Greens and hello. Myself and this person both wanted this big wide open land here and neither of us was willing to move So we're just gonna kind of chill here with them and just hope they don't attack us early I'm offering them a truce, but they didn't uh, accept it so far We're both expanding in almost the exact same way I feel like this is this is a veteran player that knows what they're doing So that's something to be aware of and concerned about maybe a truce with you down there and Just kind of carve through our bots and hope for the best I'm kind of hoping to try and get this wall over here There's not a lot of people to my right, so that would be good. So also try not to anger this person too much 
They might not appreciate that I stuck the spawn point the same way they did. Alright, the Majiba Beep Vampire here is attacking me like a bunch, so I'm just going to attack them back really hard there. Probably new player making mistakes. Honestly, it's a lot of turf to be getting, and uh, it's going to cost us a lot of troops. Probably slow down the rate and I take out these bots, but uh, I can't have this wild card just randomly attack I me. Mean, it's just not great for me. I've got the crown, but I'm a little bit low on troops. Probably need to like chill out on how much I attack, or just hope that people really just chill out and leave me be a little bit, because I'm going to be a juicy target being so low on troops. Going to war early, that person was not great for me for troops, but was good for lane. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Since I went to war with that one person, I'm getting attacked by you. My response to getting attacked by you is to ask everybody around them to attack you is my only possible defense. That and to turtle up defensively as much as I can. Fox Trophy is attacking as well, so we truce the people around them and ask them to like get in on that. And I just defend up. I just defend up and ask everybody around. Oh, they won't let me spam the attacks. All right, this guy's giving me the thumbs up that they want to attack them as well. That's beautiful. Now I'll just defend up and just, you know, I get it. I, I was low on troops. That's fine. This guy's helping me too. Fantastic. Beautiful. And while these guys attack in the back, I just kind of defend up. We're still in second place. So considering we could have gotten wiped out if these guys had joined in on it, I will take this. And right now I'm just going to defend up a lot. Maybe I ask uh, this guy over here to help me fight here. This person just absolutely refuses to take a truce with me, which is unfortunate. You know, I mean, we both chose the spawn point the second started. I mean, you know, neither like there's no hard feelings. We both just hard committed and refused to move. So it's not like either of us sabotaged the other. We both either one of us could have moved, you know, mm, they've lost the crown. It's gone down to player 561. Nobody around me is attacking anybody except for these two fighting right here, which is not great. I think it's time to fight you, because I do remember you attacking me and I'm at red interest. So it's time to start working on you little by little. Ask this guy to maybe help me. You know, I can act like, you know, offer them a truce and be friends. I never attacked you once. We could work together, be allies, you know. They don't seem too interested. I feel like they're saving up troops to fight me, which would not be... Yep, yep, they're literally saving up troops to fight me. That's unfortunate. I guess this person's mad that I also hard committed to that spawn point. And they're, they're just deciding they want to make it their mission to take me out with them. That's unfortunate. All right, well, that was frustrating. But next country, Lesotho. All right, we're back in Europe and we're this uh, yellow dot down here. I forgot to change my color again. And what I've learned from the last three matches, especially from spectating the last match, is that tonight, like 98% of players will not attack the person with the crown ever. The meta changes from this game from day to day and during the time of day, whenever right now, if you get the crown, you're almost never gonna get attacked. It's that's just the vibe right now is if you're bigger I don't attack you no matter what so I'll have to I'll have to like balance my gameplay around that I think you gotta read the room when you develop your strategies of how to play if everybody's afraid to attack the big guy Well, then you'll have to adapt accordingly, but I've got the crown So maybe these guys will all be afraid to attack me. Hmm. Maybe reap the benefits of that meta got truce the Canada here They're trying to carve the way down to my turf Block these guys off as well. Toss out some truces if I can here. All right, well, I don't have the crown. I'm in second place now, but we are looking pretty good. This guy's huge over there, but we're, we're doing all right here. I'm bigger than these people around me. I can save up troops and uh, we can go to war with them. Maybe they'll fight each other. But if they're, if based on how everybody's playing today, these guys just will not attack me because I'm bigger than them and have more troops. So we can just kind of chill here and wait. Canada's giving some hearts over there. So I'll give them a heart back. Just chill with them. Save my troops and probably go for this guy or this guy next, I think. Give a truce to them if I can. <laughs> Canada's giving us the shades. I'll give him the shades back. <laughs> I can try to ask people to gang up and attack this guy here, but they almost certainly won't based on how people are playing today. It's going to be a race between myself and them for land. Hey, people around us are actually fighting. Let's get in on this. Good. Let them lead the way while I continue saving up my troops so ever so nicely. And maybe we'll work on this guy while they're low on troops. I like how they're giving me the thumbs up. But I'm immediately attacking them because, well, frankly, they're just low on troops and I want to get in on this. This guy needs to get access to the sea so maybe they don't attack us. Yep, there's the thumbs down. <laughs> Sorry, man, I want your land. And I'll go for player 154 next as soon as I get borders with them. Hey, guess what? I've got borders with you. No, we're going for you, friend. I'm just going to carve through your land. This guy's going to try and... Yeah, he... Ooh, good call on... Good call on uh, canceling the boat there, my friend. This guy knows what he's doing. Let's go ahead and get these right here. Just to have all that for us. Beautiful. Do we, ooh, got the crown too. That's huge for us. Um, look at this guy boating his way in here. Little silly fella. Do I immediately start attacking Jufas up here? I, I managed to take the crown away from that guy, which is impressive. Didn't think I would. Canada's getting in on this, taking some land that I would get, which is not great. But they're also weakening them up. So that's fine too. And I think we just, do we immediately go into Yahtzee, Germany? I think we do. I think that's a wise life choice choice for us so far. We have, we've, we've been big and bigger than those around us and not a single soul has had the courage to attack us that's just so i think i've read the room properly that you get the crown and t tonight nobody wants to attack you it's just great i don't trust you to not be a, 
annoying boat spammer, so we're gonna kind of deal with that, I think. This guy's, how strong are you? Alright, you're using that name, I see. I think I deal with you later though, because uh, I need to get big down here. I need to take out, of, uh, take out this guy here. Unfortunately, I need your land. You're not really gonna do anything down there anyways. OG Cushier has a lot of, uh, a lot of easy expansion, I think. I need to hurry up and kind of consolidate my advantage here. Give me the thumbs down. You don't need to give me the thumbs down for pushing you out. I need your land. I'm trying to win here. You don't need to be like, yeah, I like I'm I guess I'm one to talk about being a sore loser. <laughs> but uh, don't be a sore loser. You give a thumbs down when you get pushed out. Uh, but yeah, I'm also sore. I'm heartbroken to do this, Canada, but I have two choices to attack right now. A guy with like four or five million troops or a guy with seven and a half million troops. And I also have way better borders on you. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. Give you a heart and let you know I'm sad. I think this, that, they're giving the thumbs up because I think they understand. Um, I think they understand I kind of have to do it. I know, I know, I know. I'm heartbroken. Hate to, I hate to have to do this, but it's, it's, I, I, I gotta win. And unfortunately, you're very much, uh, like, taking you out is very much gonna be an important part of it. I need something, I'll let you have this little island right there, but I'm gonna need some of these bigger ones too. I need all this land. This guy over here could easily, uh, catch up to us in size if we're not careful. All right, give them a, tr like, can I give you a truce back? Can I give you, can I emote to you? I can't emote to you or anything. Weird. Player 125 is attacking us. Holy crap. Somebody actually attacking the crown? That's unusual. Haven't seen much of that today. Not that it matters, luckily. This guy's not doing it either, but yeah. All right, we'll kind of work on them. Luckily, the people around them don't have a ton of troops, so it's not like they can immediately gar carve them out This uh, while they're attacking me. This guy has left and become a bot, and they're attacking at random. So I can sit back and defend a little bit and then get in on this. Good. Player 241's getting in. I'm going to attack them while they only have a million troops, because there's kind of like an easy target. All right, we're starting to get like a nice little dominant lead here, actually. I think we keep working on player 241. Oh, we were looking... We're looking great over here. Push player 241 out of here. We're looking pretty good, I think. I'm thinking we're looking in the, I got a nice dominant little position. This guy left and became a bot. I think we work on I think we work on this guy here, right? That way we have one less giant on our borders. That's, that's water there. Well, sort of giant. This guy's soon gonna be on top of us. This guy left and became a bot. Let's get this. I could honestly form an alliance with this guy and let them stay in the in the game and vote for peace with them. But they uh well, I mean look at their name. OG Kush is immediately attacking us. I don't think that's gonna work out so well for them. Oh, yeah, they realized they can't win here, so they left and became a bot. And then it's looking really good for us here. That bot's just really going hard. A nice one. A nice one. Full send back. Am I in the full send game mode? I thought I was... Wait, can, can I full send? Like, am I able to full send? Oh, I thought I thought I was in, like, the other... I didn't realize I was even in the full send game mode. I thought I was in, like, the other one. I am not going to let you stick around here, my good sir, with a name like that. Not a chance. And there's that beautiful victory screen that we know and love. Let me know how you like this editing and all we did here. Smash that like button. Let's go.